one Didn't even know that day, man, bang it oh, I'm in the alleyway with an addict He likes my food cause I don't add magic Show E last talk, can't hack it Back it, that's why I'm copying my jacket On tour, on stage, I had it My jaw's shining so lavish Watch my hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys have had a great weekend because i know i have today i'm starting a new segment called stir it up with sherry and i hope you guys enjoy it today on the menu we are going to be having some lamb chops some sweet corn corn on a cob call it what you want some tender broccoli stems and some overnight mac and cheese where do we go wrong first thing first here what we're going to do is wash our sweet corns now we have to wash the sweet corns don't pass that step <laughs> once i've done that i added a pinch of salt and i've left it to boil here i'm now using all purpose black pepper some paprika just for some color as they say <laughs> after doing that I i'm going to try and you know moist it get it all moist and mix it in together you know mix up and do the dabs y'all see i washed my hands now i was having some complications doing this recording myself as i was recording myself duh and i couldn't hold you know the bowl so excuse it you know proper rub into that lamb chop because guys it is very important we want the seasoning everywhere you don't want to miss one bit at all so i did go back and check on the sweet corn about 20 minutes later because it was coming to a boil i then went ahead and i used my crushed garlic that i got from tesco's which is the best thing ever and i then started to place my lamb chops into the pan now guys i did fry it on each side for about let's say three minutes each and then i will go ahead to then put it in the oven i am not going to show or you know the whole entire process but as you can see here i've put about five in there listen i don't play when it comes to fitting all them meats into that pot i have not come to play i did end up using avocado oil as i showed you but it was on time lapse so it was a little bit fast here is after the three minutes where you know i've actually you know turned it over and changed it and now i am going to be putting it in the oven It's so crazy because there's been multiple times where I've ordered lamb chops from multiple shops. And y'all, you know, I think that they actually just give us the shit ones because the ones that I get, the lamb chops I get, just about have any fat on them. And that is so crazy because it's so bad. You know, they, they actually treat us so bad. Well, I don't. So, you know, my thing's proper. If you guys want to know where I get my lamb chops from, make sure you comment down below and I'll let you know um again i'm literally just showing you guys it frying a bit just so you guys had an idea how it should look now this is all that i use for the sauce and i add a pinch of hot water so i did skip the part where you know i use i use the basin i think it's called a basin i will add a picture there but i use the basin to literally marinate the whole entire like all the lamb shots basically <laughs> and yeah like i said i'll um, add a picture because you know that's crucial you do need it i don't i wouldn't say you need it but this is a good thing to have and yeah it's called basting <laughs> here you can see the lamb chops in the trays ready to go in the oven now guys what i put in the oven i am going to put in the oven for about you know 10 minutes on slow cook just to you know let that sauce marinate into it and you know soak all the way in and yeah i have gone and checked on my potatoes guys this air fryer is the best investment it is amazing like i would never go back to using anything else now i'm literally giving a rinse to the broccoli stems and i am going to slap them in the same like pot as the sweet corn as because you know the sweet corns were practically done and i only needed to steam these vegetables so i'm not common sense i've come to check the potatoes again guys they're my favorites i have to keep checking them but i do cook them for about 20 minutes with the sauce the exact same sauce that i used for the food is the exact same sauce i practically put inside the pot but the pot instead i added some onions and everything and hot water to make the gravy 
it looks absolutely amazing look how thick that is guys i did not come to play mm -hmm. yeah so i decided to go ahead and dish out my grandma's food as you can see her portions are very small as she won't have any more you know i had a slap on some gravy guys she absolutely loved it my grandma is a picky eater but she did actually love it um you know she didn't eat that much of the lamb chops so it's a good thing i didn't give her that much but here i can show you a proper you know serving and this is obviously for my husband my baby daddy my the father of my child my baby boy you know i had to dab him up like i always do you know his portions are real big but guys so just take a close look like look at that look at the cheese y'all see how cheesy that is a day after guys you know i didn't come to play now last and last and final last and felice i don't know it's the parsley y'all know i had a plug y'all y'all know i had to plug y'all because i know everyone wants to you know have the little green things on top mm -hmm. i bust you guys so make sure you're tuned in for next time period I still slide for the six like Aubrey yeah. I was in a cell looking at life thinking that I should have done full of Courtney yeah. Tell my ex, delete my number I got a new thing, you can't call me I got Keisha, I got Pecky, I got Henny Hi my lovelies So wig and tear sent me this luxurious with It was a 26 inch 4x4 four lace closure wig Guys it was highlighted Such a babe They sent so many goodies They sent this you know thick Burberry <laughs> Headscarf which I have been using That's really been you know and these lashes oh let's not go on to the lashes guys you know how normally the lashes aren't oh wig and tear they give you some really good lashes that you actually wear look how silky this hair was guys what i can tell you was that i was definitely amazed by the quality i did end up bleaching and plucking and everything off camera so just enjoy the sight guys enjoy the sight because oh this was the best hair i've actually received in a while <laughs> So here you can literally just see me going over it with the hot comb after plucking it. I literally, I didn't actually need to pluck it. So I did like the smallest little, the smallest plucking guys. I did the smallest plucking. But yeah, I just ran through it with my um, hot comb just to do the front just before installing it. And guys, I can't lie to you. This is when the hair is dry. The curls are amazing and they do stay. And this is it wet. Super duper nice. Super duper silky. And guys make sure you check the description box below because it will literally have all the details that you need right so guys i hope you enjoyed this quick little video because i had to get this review done and out but yeah make sure you guys do not forget to check the description box for the last time and once again thank you again to bye guys